Good day. I'd like to talk to you about possible complications of total hip replacement. Even the safest operation has possible complications. Fortunately, these complications aren't very common, and with total hip replacements, it's even less so. Most complications occur within a few weeks after surgery. Some occur later on. For example, dislocation occurs in 5% of the patients, usually before the ligaments have had a chance to heal. Relocating the joint, generally under anesthesia, heals a dislocation. Damage to the sciatic nerve has been reported in less than 2% of the cases. Most of these complications resolve spontaneously, but residual damage may require a foot brace. Pulmonary embolism is a rare but potentially dangerous complication that occurs in less than 3% of patients. Blood thinners given postoperatively and exercises you'll learn when you're in the hospital encourage circulation, which will minimize the chance of this complication occurring. Infections, which may require removal of the prosthesis, occur in only about 2% of the patients. Even less common are the late infections occurring more than six months after surgery. While rare, these blood-borne infections point out the need for prompt treatment of problems such as tooth abscesses or skin infections or bacterial pneumonia. Leg length differences sometimes occur if adjustment of the leg is needed at the time of surgery. This may require a shoe lift on a shorter limb. Fractures can occur, especially in minimally invasive surgery. These have been reported as high as 20%, which may result in the need of a fracture fixation at the time of surgery. A major complication is loosening of the implant. Approximately 3% of the patients experience this problem after about 5 to 10 years. Younger, more active people have a high incidence, and patients over 65 have a lower incidence. Ever-improving techniques will hopefully decrease this complication. Fortunately, total hip replacement has the best success rate of all orthopedic surgeries, and few patients experience any of these complications. As with any anesthetic, heart attack, strokes, organ failure, or a combination of the above can occur. Our job is to troubleshoot and make sure your stay and recovery with us is the safest and most efficient. I, as well as my staff, value that trust you have in us and will strive to make your recovery both uneventful and complete. Both uneventful and